Hey guys, welcome back to Film Direct. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove digital noise from your videos with no plugins needed. I'll be showing you how to remove it in three different programs using DaVinci Studio 15, the paid version, not the free version, Adobe After Effects CC 2019, and Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. I do want to put a disclaimer that I would only recommend using Adobe Premiere Pro as a last resort as it's not the best way to denoise your video. I'll go ahead and list all the applications in the description below. That being said, let's jump into it. So first thing we're going to do is import all our media. You can either import your media where you're noticing the most noise in your videos, or you can go ahead and just import your entire sequence. If you're using a different editing software like Final Cut or Adobe, you can go ahead and drag in the XML files into DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and drag our footage in. Let's jump right into color and we can see that this footage is rather noisy. So I'm going to be doing a quick color grade and then we're going to be applying that denoising effect after the color grade. So right here we can see how noisy it is when we zoom up to 300%. So we're going to go ahead and right click and create a new serial note and label it denoiser. And then we're going to go under the motion effects tab. And this is where we're going to focus the majority of our time, spatial threshold. I usually stick with faster mode and a small radius because it's able, I'm able to play it back. So we're going to be messing with just the Luma keys on this one. And we're going to be placing our spatial noise reduction or spatial NR in mode faster and radius small. So as we can see here, we'll go up to 300% and then we'll bump this up. Let's bring it down a bit, about 4.4 and we can start to see a little bit better noise reduction. So that's it. That's all you need to do in order to denoise your video in DaVinci Resolve. You can go ahead and mess with those Luma and Chroma thresholds and see if you can fine tune it. I see the best results just using the Luma and I can go ahead and push that mode to enhance to enhance the noise reduction. But for me, I think faster and small works just as great as the other two. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Adobe After Effects. And the great thing about Adobe After Effects is that if you own a Creative Cloud subscription, you can always use a free trial and essentially use the noise reduction feature for free. So we're going to go ahead and import our media and create a new comp from it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a quick grade. And as you can see, it is extremely noisy. So let's go ahead and jump to the effects presets tab. Go ahead and type in remove for grain, apply it to your footage. And under viewing mode, go ahead and put preview. You can start to see what the remove grain feature is doing. It's just removing subtle grain. For me, this works just as good as the DaVinci Resolve feature. So in preview, we're going to go ahead and change that to final output because we want to see the final output in everything. And there you go. That's how you remove grain in Adobe After Effects. Extremely simple. And you can go ahead and make minor tweaks here and there to really fine tune that noise removal in Adobe After Effects. All right, now into Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to go into the effects tab, type in median, and it should be found under noise and grain. Drag that onto your footage. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and bump that to four. And you can see the noise removal is working its magic. But the only problem is everything is now out of focus. Essentially what it's doing is it's just clumping those pixels into a smoother surface. But we don't want that. We want to make sure that our subjects are sharp. We're going to try our best to make sure to get rid of most of the noise. So we're going to create a mask using the pen tool. And we're going to shape around our subjects. And once you mask path it, go ahead and invert it and feather and expansion. If you're tracking a subject subtly, you can go ahead and use the play button to track your mask around the subject. So this is the least likely I would suggest using in terms of noise removal. If anything, I would suggest bringing in your project into Adobe After Effects and then working with noise removal there. But if you're in a tough crunch and you're unable to bring in your project in Adobe After Effects for some reason, you either don't have the time or the money to get Adobe After Effects, I think this is a good tool to use. It's not something I would recommend using, but if it's a last resort type of thing, why not use it? Well, there you go. There you have it. This is three easy steps to denoising your video using three applications 
with no plugins needed. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're interested in more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you again, and thank you for watching.